Interested in becoming a librarian? Don't let the stereotypes get in the way. Anyone can be a librarian. In this video, I'll go over how to become a librarian, types of librarianship, what we do all day, and helpful skills. To become a librarian, you will first need a bachelor's degree in any subject, then a master's degree in library and information science, often referred to as an MLIS. Internships and work experience are recommended. Not only will these direct you to specialties and areas of interest, they will also show you what you don't like, so you will have a better idea of your career path. It's also a great way to make valuable connections in the field. These could lead to letters of recommendations and people to use as references when applying for a job. Gaining valuable experience during your internship will also look great on your resume. And while it's not guaranteed, if you are close to graduating and the place you are interning is hiring, they may offer you the opportunity to interview there too. Trying to find a college that offers an MLIS degree? You have a lot of options, both in person and online. In California, you have UCLA, San Jose State University, or USC, which offers a unique Master of Management and Library and Information Science degree. However, there are several other out-of-state programs available that are either fully or mostly available online as well. Check with a librarian or counselor for more information and to see which option is right for you. There are several types of librarianship and even non-library opportunities you can do with an MLIS degree. In this video, I'll try to cover some of the more popular options for librarians. This includes public, school, academic, archivist, and special libraries like private, corporate, medical, law, museum, etc. And what do we do all day? While a lot of the work we do is similar, it can vary quite a bit depending on which direction you choose. So let's do an overview of each of these. Within public libraries, you are serving the local community. This includes working with children, young adult teens, adults, or seniors. Most public libraries also have an archives, which contains local city history. You may find yourself in a management position, which could include a lot of additional responsibilities, including fundraising, grant writing, building management, and supervising staff. Outreach refers to the efforts librarians make to reach community members, advertising programs and services. Providing research help and answering questions at the reference or information desk. Building collections in the library. This could include books, audio, and visual materials, and so much more. Budget. Making sure that money is spent, but not overspent and lots of data. Librarians collect statistics and keep close track of emerging needs and trends. School librarians are a little unique in that they may or may not require an MLIS degree. There are certification programs for library technicians and school librarians. Check with a librarian or counselor for more information on this. School librarians are often a solo librarian, meaning they wear a lot of hats in their library. Much like public librarians, they provide research help, collection development, maintain a budget, develop policies, procedures, and statistical reports, and might supervise and train staff or volunteers. Additionally, school librarians might plan classroom visits and conduct instruction sessions on how to use the library. Academic librarians are those librarians who work in higher education, colleges, and universities. Much like the other librarians we talked about, academic librarians also participate in collection development, maintain budgets, provide outreach, and plan programs and events. But teaching is a big part of the academic librarian's job. They often teach four credit classes, as well as what's known as the one shot, a one-time presentation to a class about how to conduct research and improve critical thinking skills. Academic librarians also provide research help at the reference desk and are constantly designing learning tools such as research guides, tutorials, and videos like this one. Most academic librarians also go through the tenure process, which means they get evaluated at their job, often conduct original research, 
publish papers, and present at conferences. An archivist is a type of librarian that specializes in the preservation and access of historically significant materials. This could include documents, audiovisuals, or any type of artifact. Archivists often have unique training and expertise in the preservation of these materials and in cataloging to create finding aids for these materials so that they're searchable. Archivists can work in public libraries, academic libraries, or in special libraries such as private, corporate, medical, law, museums, and more. Librarians in these positions often do some of the things previously mentioned, but they also usually have specialized subject knowledge. Thinking of becoming a librarian? Here are some helpful skills to have and develop as you pursue this career path. Did I mention we also know how to have fun? Check out the links below for some fun library related articles as well as links for more information. You can also contact a librarian, the Career Planning Center, or our counseling department for more information on how to become a librarian.